We love you, collective. Collective, we love you so much here at Patience with Spirit and Spirit News. With me and the Guild of the Golden Triangle, my very own spirit team, which everybody has one, by the way. We teach you all about it on Spirit News on Spotify. Let me tune your human bio field for you. Ah, it's about frequency and vibration, dear. <laughs> Hello, I'm Patience. I'm your favorite psychic medium, host of Spirit News on Spotify, where we teach you about energy and your non-physicalness and how you're a non-physical entity having a human experience. And we teach you how to balance your emotions through our own experience, through my own spirit guidance that I started four years ago. I'm a childhood psychic. I was born a psychic and I repressed it until four years ago where I asked for help from my own spirit guides and they have been teaching me how to read energy. Lady of Light! Thank you, thank you. I love you. Thank you for being here, Lady of Light. It is my honor to bring the messages through, to be a conduit. I've cleared my field to 144,000 hertz, to be an earth angel for you, to be able to give the messages that you need to get a higher perspective of your linear view here at Spirit News. So we're going to read the energy today with Spirit. I got Spirit with me always. You know, Spirit never leaves your side. It is us who doubt Spirit, but Spirit is energy and energy is everywhere. I love you too. So thank you for being here. So just remember that energy is fluid. It has no gender. It can be past, present, or future, and it can also be alternate timelines. So the point of it is to help us get a higher perspective of things we don't understand emotionally and to understand where people come from emotionally, what wounds we need to heal, things that we may have missed. Maybe there's some players that we got to switch up, but you got to take what resonates. And it won't always resonate for you, and that's okay. Not every message will be your message, but it's going to be for somebody. So we want to keep that in mind that everyone gets a message in their own time. You can watch these Red messages note. whenever they resonate for you, whenever they show up in your algorithm, it will be the right time for you. Object. And let's begin. Yay! I'm so excited. Okay, spirit. Okay. Okay, spirit. Okay. Oh my gosh, I just hate when I have too many options and I don't know what to choose. <laughs> <laughs> let's do let's do pictures you want to do pictures we can do I found it spirit what do you think I found it let's see we'll mix them up I got two stacks now so it's going to be double the trouble double your pleasure and double your fun spirit come through Give us one. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, hit it. What up, Anthony, my homie? Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. We love you so much. Spirit loves you unconditionally. And so do I. This is the judge free zone. Boop! Oh, shoot. I got two. I don't know if I should do two, but I got two. Oh, and this one looks interesting. Hey, you know what? This looks like Roger Williams Park in Rhode Island. It looks like the casino. Dark entity. Dark entity. Okay, let me see. Let me see what we got here. What do we got? 12 o'clock. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I lost it. I got this one, this one, and this one. Okay. I lost it, Spirit says. All right. Come through, Spirit. Please give me the messages. So I see a crown at the top, the tippy top of this building. I see a crown. So someone of authority who has the ability to see over everything, maybe a boss, maybe a leader, somebody who has some kind of monetary gain, somebody who's successful. They, they're not at the tippy top, though. They're not at the tippy top. They're pretty close, but they're not at the tippy top. The tippy top is right here. Hey, Devon! What up, boo? Homie! 
So this person of authority, I see some meat. Look at this meat steaming in the window. There's steamy meat in the window. Steamy meat in the window. I see a sword. I see a shovel. Some kind of conflict. Some kind of heated conflict. Mmm, steamy meat. <laughs> well, metaphorically, I think there could be some kind of hot conflict or something going on. Something that someone wants to bury. Something that some kind of cannon went off. Look at this cannon. It's faced right at this crown. Someone who held a crown. Brush. Mm, and I see Sven over here. Sven. Mm. And this steamy meat is in a triangle. Look, this steamy meat's in a triangle window. Triangle is the trinity. Triangle can be a love triangle. It could be third party. Something steamy, some kind of conflict about, and there's also three meat patties. Three, three. And there's a tea kettle down here. <laughs> so there's some kind of um, third party interference. Something about tea burying the hatchet. Some kind of conflict. Audio. Audio. Hmm. I also see a basket by the water. I see two tea teapots. I see two teapots. I also see a lot of gates. I see a lot of gates. A lot of gatekeeping here. There's a lot of gatekeeping. Gatekeeping is someone who keeps valuable information that would help somebody, that would help somebody get past the situation, or they're trying to withhold information about somebody. Hmm, interesting. That these houses also look the same. Little tiny houses on the hillside. I'm feeling very good. Love you, Cervelli. Thank you for being here. We love you. Look at this picture. And the rooftops are my favorite color, seafoam green. That's my favorite color. Just so you know. So you're aware. The whole rooftop is seafoam green. And green is a heart chakra, but it's a light color. So someone who's lighthearted, this person of authority is lighthearted. A lot of people know them as lighthearted. As loving, compassionate. The windows are blue. They could, sp they could speak very well. They could be very... They could be spoken of as well. But look, there's there's this cannonball that is aimed right at the crown and it's and its wick is um lit. Its wick is lit. It's lit. It's lit as lit AF. It's litty. It's litty. And the seasons are changing. Something's changing. There's so much information in here. Something's changing like the seasons. This and this um Sven, this reindeer, looks like they lit the wick. Hi Samina. Hi Samina. Oh look, and there's a broom. Something some kind of conflict in the past has been brought to the surface. Something that was carried out by a cat, some kind of naughty cat, some kind of sneaky trickster cat. Hi from India! Curious, curious, I get it, I see what you did there, curious. There's someone in your past that may have started some kind of heated conflict or tried to blow you up 
metaphorically off of your off of your, the roof off of your off your off the top bitching bitching <laughs> spirit said bitching bitching right right someone was trying to create heat about you bitching about you I see two teapots. They were trying to change people or trying to create some kind of drama. They were bitching about you. What? Oh, look. And then we got Scar over here. We got Scar. This person. Oh, look. We got Spirit right here with the red bird. We got Scar, which is probably this. I Didn't I say... Uh, a naughty kitty cat. Scar's definitely a naughty kitty cat. Spirit said this kitty, this naughty kitty cat's bitching about you. And they may have even involved three of their henchmen, their hyenas. These hyenas are laughing at you, but you're a hard worker. You're a hard worker. Look at you. You're, you're. <laughs> agree you're in the stampede you're you're a team player you're a hard worker you work with as a team you're a good communicator you know herds have to have a hide mind how do you think they all know how to run at once so many of them they all work in unison together they all have they all have an ability to read each other wow That's funny. Okay, but I see a field mouse. And look at this rabbit's face. This rabbit is shocked. This rabbit is like, this rabbit's like, what the hell? And there's an onlooker. This uh, field mouse, this field mouse is looking. This field mouse is looking on. It looks like they're like grasping, like holding on for dear life. So someone, someone blew a cannon at you who is bitching about you. The cannon is the bitching. Okay. They're bitching about you, about your work ethic. Instrument. Instrument. They were working, they were telling people, suppose. suppose, they were, they were telling people that you're not a hard worker and you're not a team player, but you really are. Uh, they may have been making fun of you behind your back. Um, they definitely had a leader who's a naughty kitty. I got a naughty kitty here and I got a naughty kitty here and they're both orange. They did it because they wanted to climb the ladder. Look, there's a ladder right here. They did it because they wanted to climb a, the ladder and you were in their Ten way. Ten o'clock. You were in their way because look at Nine. look at the rooftop. It's all green. You're love, baby. You're all love. And then look at this tiny little kitty cat. You were causing a shadow for this kitty cat. And then look at how many of them are compared to this. There's somebody who felt threatened by you. There's somebody who wanted to make you seem like your worth ethic was less than theirs. Um, they wanted you to look like a fool. They wanted you to look like you didn't know what you were doing. Um, these are also brown, brown animals, and then this is green. So they wanted to uh, muddy your... Hold, please. Hey, Ma, can I call you back? Okay, you okay? Uh-oh. All right, I'll call you back. Okay, I love you, bye. That was my mom. That's mommy. Sit this. Oh. My mom just said she doesn't feel good, and Spirit just said sickness. Oh, my gosh. My mom just said she didn't feel good, and Spirit just said sickness. The sure. meatloaf. <laughs> yeah. It's the meat. It's the hot meat in the window. It's been outside for too long. So, someone served shit on a platter, okay, about you. Bitching about you, making up shit, saying you weren't a good worker,
saying that you're lazy, saying you don't work as a team. They really muddied up your whole um, work environment. They may have involved three hyenas, three henchmen to come against you to blow you off of your throne, to take you down because your work ethic actually shadowed over them. Look at this little kitty over here trying to climb the ladder. Okay? And then we have Scar, then we have Spirits of Demonic, which just means that they're selfish, that they're inconsiderate, that they're um, not nice, okay? They have unhealed wounds. We want to remember that everybody is in their own place of healing, okay? Thank you, Devoe. I love you. You're the best moderator in the world. So look at this, tractor trailers. All the tractor trailers look like they're upset and they look like they're tired. You're tired of this collective. You're like, what's going on? Why am I, why is this happening? Why am I not getting work? I'm getting less hours. And <laughs> it's cause you got this evil tractor trying to tear you down. But you had to create some kind of barrier. This this is this person's M.O. This person has an M.O., a mission objective. Whenever somebody comes in that might shine a little water. brighter than them, water. There's water here and there's Strangling. water here. They strangle their whole life. They blow it up. They say, that person's lazy. They do this, that, and the other thing. Because... Because they don't want you to look better than them is, I mean, look at, look at Scar all the way up here and then they look at you like down there. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely pettiness, but you're just a rabbit. You're just a little rabbit. You're just a hardworking little rabbit doing your own thing, trying to just live your life, you know, and this this person wants to go out of their way to make you look like an a-hole, spread gossip about you. Numbers. Numbers. Yeah, they think that by recruiting other people against you, they probably said, oh, you know Collective said this, that, and whatever about you. And they also said this, that, and the other. And they think that you're an a-hole. They think that they said you're lazy. So they, they pulled other people against you because they didn't want you to shine brighter than them. They made many obstacles for you. Many obstacles. And look, they're over here flying in their gossip helicopter like they you know, like this person is a chaser. They're a clout chaser. They gotta be number one. They've done this to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They could have possibly done this to seven people in their lifetime. That's a lot. That's a lot of people to start rumors about because you're because you don't have the same kind of work ethic. I got two teapots here and a cannon. Two teapots and a cannon, and I got two picnic baskets. But this time, this person. This person effed up this time. There's something they effed up about putting all their eggs in one basket. Why do people got to do that? Why don't they just work hard? Why don't they just become your friend and ask you, how'd you get that work ethic? <laughs> you know, how'd you do that? Well, could you teach me? Instead, they got to ruin people's lives, get them fired, knock them off their throne, start conflicts, turn people against them. It ain't right. It ain't right. Kayla. Kayla could be significant. Let's do some tea leaf cards. They don't want to see you shine. That's right. You know, everybody can shine in their own way. Spirit says everyone is meant to be their own individual and have a special talent that only they have. But when you're comparing yourself to other people, you're always going to be in competition. Because 
you're not other people. You are your own special individual. And you have your own special unique talent that is special to you. Werder Berman, hello. Welcome to the party. Two, two, two. I got four twos on the clock. So, this person's comparing themselves. They're stuck up. They're entitled. They have a superiority complex, which really means they're insecure. Their main MO is to start rumors, to gather a group of people against one person, and make them look like S H I T. They could have possibly have done this to up to seven people in their lifetime. 15. Oh, Spirit said 15. <laughs> Spirit says they give Spirit a headache. Kayla. Yeah, Spirit said Kayla. K I I K A I. <laughs> Kay. Kate. The only card she can read actually is her birthday card. <laughs> I could read anything because I don't read the card, I read energy. The card is just a way to interpret it for you guys. Symbols with L. Lion. Oh my god, lion! Look! Lion! Scar! Lion! I ain't lion! So this Scar individual has powerful friends. And that's the friends that they, they probably have friends in high places where they ensure that they make sure they get in good with them. So they can talk shit about you to ruin your reputation. Um, loaf of bread, loop, lizard. They want to make you look... They want to make you... They want to alter your well-being. They want you to look like you're not nourishing. Like you're not um, nurturing. Like you're not a good worker. They throw in loops. They throw in... They're very impulsive. Um, they, know, they know that you're not impulsive. Um, but they are, and so they make... 1970s. They could possibly be born in 1970s. Um, they live out of anxiety and worry. They're constantly in competition with people because all they do is worry about their position. And they're a clout chaser. They have to be sitting on the top of the throne at all times like a lion. But they're really like Uncle Scar. They're not Mufasa. Birds. Fearful. Fearful. They live in fear. They live in fear. It's a necrometer. But just so you know, you have to have discernment when you use it. Just like any divination. I have cleared my field to 144,000 hearts to be able to know what is right and what's wrong energetically. And so I can call forward my spirit guides of divine white light. So make sure you're protecting yourself. Make sure you're clearing your field and your mind before you use any divination. Okay? Oh, it's 1971. Leon, you're really into um, numbers over here. I like it. So I got bird symbols, which I actually have a bird right here, this red bird. Which usually when I see bird, spirit says that's for them. Birds are usually signified um, a symbol for your, your um, ancestors, loved ones, spirit guides. A single bird means news or a message. And there's a single bird here. Okay. Message. <laughs> Spirit just said message. I cannot make it up. Look, it says a, sing a single bird is a message. There's a bird right here. And Spirit just said message. Okay. Sound. Sound. I love you, Spirit. I love you, Spirit. I love you guys. So, there could be a message coming in. I th Look at Scar looking at the bird. This Scar is trying to prevent a message from getting to you. A bird flying is good news. They're trying to prevent good news from coming to you, Collective. Look carefully at your surroundings to determine which form this will take. Sometimes birds also indicate travel or journeys, particularly if found beside a road symbol. 
And this looks like a road, doesn't it? There's some kind of journey. There's a message coming to you. There's a message coming to you that this Scar character, this a-hole who's possibly done this to like 15 people in their lifetime, doesn't want you to get. Something about some kind of travel or some kind of journey. How do they know? They were observing you as an individual and put a bad omen on you because you're a good omen. They put one large distinct omen to outweigh several smaller bad and blurred omens. Ralph. They wanted they wanted to disrupt the balance so you wouldn't be able to determine your forecast. Your future? How do they know about your future? This just got interesting. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Because this says specifically bad omen and good omen. And this, and Spirit saying that this message coming towards you is good news about some kind of travel or journey you're going to make. Which is the good omen. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Con confirmation. Relax. Spirit said to relax. I know my brow furrow was getting strong. I'm going to figure this out for you, Collective. You got a message coming, and this person's trying to stop it. They don't want you to be balanced. They want to upset the balance, and they want to determine your your forecast. Why? What, is, what do they care? Why are they so concerned about you? Why can't they just leave you alone? Jay, Jug, and Jules. <gasps> because some... some because there's going to be some kind of celebration for you. Some kind of celebration or expensive gifts coming your way. Something about a, a jug signifies generosity. Maybe that, look at this. Maybe that's, um... Mater going coming towards you, some kind of someone who wants to help you, someone who wants to help you. They're trying to stop them from coming towards you because they have some kind of generosity that they're going to offer you, or celebration, or something about travel or journey, and they don't want you to have it. What is this? What is it? Why don't... I have so many questions. Why don't they want them to have it? Thank you so much, Holy Divine Spirit. White Light, please give us the messages the collective needs to know. Famous tea quotes. If you are cold, tea will warm you. If you're too heated, it will cool you. If you are depressed, it will cheer you. If you are excited, it will calm you. Loiterers. Loiterers. Owner. Owner. Spirit said owner. I think there's someone with a business opportunity of a some kind of business that sees that you got left out in the cold. They want to warm you up because they don't want you to be depressed. They want you to cheer. They want to celebrate you. Something that will calm you down because this has been a stampede on your reputation. Look at look at all these tractors. They've been, um, look how sad they are. They're so sad and beat down. I think that they know what's going on here. What? Why do they know what's going on? W.E. Gladstone. We glad. <laughs> we glad. We glad. 
Yes, yeah, sorry. I'm so excited to, that something good is coming towards you. I want, I want to help you. I want to help you. Oh, thank you. The number one. Thank you, June. I love you. So this person knows what you're, what you've been through. Maybe they work for the same company, or they're. This person knows people in high places that they've tried to work against you. So. Maybe it's one of the people that, because I have a rabbit and a field mouse that's on an upper level right here, and this is down, this is uh, us down here, because they've put us, they've kicked us out into the road. Oh, I didn't even see this. I also have Anna, or, um... What is that her name? There's Elsa and Anna. This is Anna, the sister. That's like half cut out. I think this person knows this person through some kind of professional something. Something that they work together on or work together. Um, this says famous, he quotes. Maybe this person's well known at work or they're known as an authority. They're. They want to come towards you with a message to signify generosity. They want to help you. Teresa. Teresa. B. We won't stop. We won't stop. I think this is being held by spirit. B, basket, bats, beast, bell. I have baskets here. I have one, two baskets. Addition to the family, either by birth, marriage, or adoption. So someone in your family? Someone who is your family, but by marriage or adoption. So they're not your blood. It's not going to be your blood relative, but it's going to be someone through marriage or adoption that wants to come forward to you, that wants to bring you a basket, a picnic basket, because they know that bats have been um, ruining your reputation that have been um, undertaking your fruitlessness. And there's been wild beasts who have created misfortunes. They have created misfortunes without explanation. But the, this person wants to ring the bell on these beasts because they have happy news and positive changes coming towards you. <gasps> so someone... In someone your someone in your family that's not by blood, that's not by blood, marriage or adoption, an in-law, an in-law. Hi, Fabric. Thanks for being here. We love you. Wait and see. Wait and see. Spirit says. Spirit said, please be patient and wait and see. They said, please be patient at the beginning. Something's coming in for you guys. See, coffin, comb, comet, compass. Coffin, news of a death of a, of a close friend. Food. There could... Shadow. There's a major change coming that's faded. It's a faded moment in your life. And I got travel again where you'll be in a whole new wardrobe and a whole new cycle. And it's going to be the death of an old cycle of old with old friends. There's someone coming to you that you're not blood related to but you're related to by marriage or adoption Press. that wants to come and celebrate with you and help give you generosity to help you out be boat 
bouquet branch of a tree and bridge this person this person wants to bridge something they want to they want to change the circumstances of your journey because they've been looking at the symbols and deciphering the meaning they see that you're in good health that you're in a healthy recovery that you've overcome something and they want to criminal they, you've overcome something criminal spirit okay. says spirit says to open your heart to this because this is going to be a friend that's going to be a very lucky they might even bring you flowers this person you might know them if they bring you flowers that's a symbol you can look for so you know who you can trust interesting spirit so why does this person want to come forward how do they know collective what how do they know about any of this if you could pick one age to be forever would you what age would you pick and why inform inform prison prison Pray on you. If you could pick one age to be forever, what age would you pick and why? This person may have known you when you were younger and there's been like a big gap in how long you've seen them or known or like been in contact with them. But they're somehow know about what's going on with you. And they want to help because they may have known about this for a while. Between us, who is more level-headed? They see that you're level-headed and that you haven't reacted to whatever this is. Um, whatever omen they put on you, whatever they did to try to unbalance you and determine your forecast. They wanted to complete a picture about you to this individual as a bad omen. But this person has been, re this person is, judgment. judgment, yeah, they cast judgment on you, but this person didn't see it the same way, book or movie. This person may be someone who is uh, good at reading, like using their intuition, um, they might have they might be using their own discernment to really um, look at this from a higher perspective. Um, the situation. If you had a memoir, what would it be called? And I have book or movie. I also have. I also have famous right here. Thank you, everybody, for participating. I love you so much. So I'm going to... Spirit said, Spirit, come. I think that there's something here. They want to come to you about some kind of book or movie deal or something. Or, like, memoir. They have some kind of authority in that way. Or they want to, like, interview you or something like that maybe like a magazine or something or they see you as level-headed and how you overcame something and they want to come to you with an opportunity to speak about that what's an ability you'd like to have and why they admire your ability to persevere what were you like in high school yeah, I told you this person has known you since you were younger. I think they may have seen your growth or something, or like your development, your ascension process, something like that. And they're separate. Separate. They want to separate themselves from this group. Elemental. From this group. Be able to see your own future, or be able to see everyone's future but your own, and why? under book or movie I told you this person's been watching you over the years or they've been I don't know they've been I have something about 
your future three times. Determining your for the forecast of your future. I think they have awareness of what your future is. Why? How? I, I don't like. Do you even know what your future is, collective? <laughs> How can we find this out? Maybe we should do good old tarot. You know what? Let me let me see. Let me see. Oh, I need one more. Hold on. I gotta make it even. Do you wish you had more siblings growing up? Why or why not? This could this could be an in-law, some like a brother-in-law, sister-in-law that has some kind of position of authority that's that's knowing that knows what these people did to you and has been watching you grow up. And they want to possibly talk about that. I don't know at what capacity. It says book, movie, memoir, famous. I don't know, collectum. I think they're looking into astrology. I think you're right. I think they could potentially be divination Tomorrow. spying on you because look how um, scars up the highest and there's these little things coming out that look like hands. I think that they've been divination spying on you using something. There's um, crystal ball scrying, Ouija boards, um, you know, things they shouldn't be doing. I'm going to have to talk to my landlord about this. I'm going to have to talk to my landlord about this. Debatable. Debatable. Hmm. <laughs> Spirit's saying that whoever tried to take you down is now trying to talk to God about what they've done and Spirit's like no. Spirit's blocking them. Something they did. Maybe for the divination spying because they were trying to cause you misfortune. But why does the sibling or family member know about it? It's a bird. It's a plane. We have another bird. It's <laughs> it's being chucked out the window. Yeah, they were definitely doing some kind of astral spying on you, for sure. Definitely. Dispensaries. Dispensaries. Samantha. Samantha. Because I have, be able to see your own future or everyone else's future. Doug, Halloween was yesterday. Halloween was yesterday. They were trying to... Halloween was yesterday. Mm, yes. Mm, yes. They were trying to drag you down. They were trying to drag you down by altering your... Altering who you were. By divination spying. They knew your future. And I just don't know how this person... Hmm. Let me see. How can I figure this out? Yes. Yes, okay. Spirit says yes to these. Spirit, why does this person know this collective's future? Wild West. Cowboy, settler, indigenous person, other. And I have a, another horse. This is the second reference to a horse. Riding the saddle, back on the saddle. <gasps> lover. This family member may have been the lover of the person trying to hold you back. That's how they know about you. Or that's how they know your future because their lover, they were the lover of the person trying to hold you back. Oppression right here. And they were fanatical about it. They were, they were a spinster though. They were a spinster. 
maraschino. Who said maraschino? Like maraschino cherries? Well, aren't maraschino cherries like completely fake? Like you might as well just eat plastic, you know? So this, their lover, they knew their lover was um, divination spying on you and they must have found out that they were like obsessed with you or something. Whoa. Oh my gosh, as I say obsessed, insanity. Insanity. This, this spinster lover of this in-law of yours is insane. They wanted to cause a disaster for you. They live in delusions. This is like Samara from the freaking ring over here. They're hysteric. I will be. I will be. Oh my god. Because of whatever they spied in your future, they wanted to be you. And they became obsessed with you. That's how this person knows. Why didn't this person come forward sooner? Why is it taking so long? Look, obsession. I cannot make it up. This person spies on you. This person watches you. This person does everything to... They're jealous of you. It says jealousy right here. Then I have binoculars. They could potentially spy on you from afar. Secret. It's a secret. Witness, bystander, LGBT. Don't even tell me this person's lover is in love with you. Oh my god. This person who's obsessed with you is actually gay. They're with a straight person. It says father right here. They're with a straight man, but this man discovered... How did they discover this? How did they find out that this person's um, insanely obsessed with you? Beauty, prostitute, town beauty, femme fatale, struggling with appearance. Negative. Negative. Stop selling. Because it was an accident. The way they, oh, abusive technology. They must have seen them doing something on the computer, like looking at you or something, like obsessing over you. They must have seen something on their computer. Um, they must have been like, oh, what's the collective doing today? And then like they walked in or something and they saw how obsessed they were with you. And it started a world war. They got under fire disaster. It started a huge conflict between them. Like the Holocaust. Love her again. Because they were like, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Why are you so obsessed with that person? And then they probably pushed them out of the way and looked at all the bullshit they were doing on their computer against you. What were they doing against Collective? What were they doing against Collective? In what bad spirit? Discrimination. Discrimination. They were, per look at them, they're gossiping right there. Those two girls are gossiping. They were purposely, like, online, um, doing something on their computer, possibly online, um, discriminating Madison. against you, talking about you, putting, Karen. put, care, Madison, Karen, putting limitations on you. They may have, this says social, they may have been on some kind of social network, outwardly bashing you. But it was a secret. I had secret here. This person didn't want anyone to know that they were doing this. But this person who wants to come toward you found out. And they want to help you. They're like a teacher or something. They're some kind of uh, mentor. They want to be your mentor or something. A devotee or a follower. They may have been with this person for money. Because it says greed and trauma is poverty and love style is abandonment. So they may have stayed with this person because they, you know, maybe they shared money or maybe they made money together. Maybe they just had a fear of abandonment. But this was like the last straw. This was like the last straw. Yeah, they were found this out on accident. They must have like walked in on them or something. 
they see you as an artist. They see you as someone who's professional, someone who, um, or this is them. There's some kind of professional teacher or um, mentor to you or something. But this, this person who's insane about you, obsessed with you, didn't want this person to come towards you because they knew that they'd be able to help you. So they were obsessed with keeping them away from you. Like literally insanity and obsession I have here. Samara from the ring and shit. So it started like a big conflict. Destruction right here. Destruction. Because they saw that they were, sab they were sabotaging you. Trying to make it so nobody would see what that you're some kind of artist or something. Or some kind of teacher. Why were they so obsessed? Torture. Look at this. Torture. They liked torturing you. This is sick. They like torturing you. They wanted to make you the victim. Because they're insane. I have insane right here. And obsession. Jealousy. Why are they jealous of Collective? Because Collective has self-love. And they have addictions. They're addicted to taking you down or something. They're addicted. They're hitting rock bottom right now because this person found out about it. The one thing they didn't want to happen and it happened. Wow. Five spirits. What else, spirit? So what's going to happen to this crazy person? That <laughs> spirit says they're an animal. They're an animal. They're possessive. They attack like an animal. They need to be herded up. They need to they need to be like put away or something. Someone needs to get this person off the streets. They're a swindler. They steal from people. They're they're criminals. Spirit said criminal earlier. That what they do is criminal. There's something they do online to people. Maybe some kind of like um like email scams or something. But this person's exposing them. Hotel. Hotel. Some kind of hotel. Maybe they do something in a hotel. Or maybe they own a hotel. Or they do weird things out of it. Or something. But this person found out what they were doing. And wasn't, a, was, wasn't having it. They're like, what the hell? Why would you do that? What are you, insane? That's like one of the cruelest things you could ever do. Because they're seeing you as an artist. Loss of a loved one and communications. See, they want to come towards you. They, their unexplained disappearance, abandonment, death. They want to bring a death to this situation because they have a communication. Didn't I say some kind of magazine or something? A publisher. This person's just mentally ill. They're literally not... Why are they so mentally ill? Because they're obsessed with po with not being poor. They don't want poverty. Oh! Because if this person finds out they're doing this, they must be supporting them monetarily or something. And if they find out they're doing this, they're not gonna, they know that they're gonna leave them. They're gonna be poor. They don't have any money. Oh my gosh. Athlete. This, this is some kind of famous person or something. Some kind of publisher or writer or something like that. Faith, magic based. I, they're probably insane because they've been doing some boobity bops and the schmoobity schmoops. I'm surprised it didn't come out sooner, but that is, it says adult, fe adult female, magic based, disaster. Drowning, overcoming loss. Oh my gosh. This person coming towards you is an intellectual. They must have some kind of success or something. I, I don't, I'm not sure. There's publisher, artist, athlete. 
there's something like that. They've been supporting this insane person that's been trying to take you down, trying to cause explosions in your life. What has this person done to Collective? What has this person done to Collective to ruin their life? What's this person done? You want me to change that? Okay. We'll do with tarot now. Wow, that's crazy. As hard as this person worked just to keep this person from not coming towards you because they ain't got no money. Okay. Why don't they just get a job like the rest of us? Look, there's also a teacup on top of this. So, they did it. They're doing something online to you, making you look like an a-hole. Like you don't know what you're talking about or something. But you're about to have a new beginning. Ace of Wands. You're about to have a new beginning. This person's going to help you um, get through this. They're going to take action. They're going to travel towards you. You're going to have some good news. They're going to spark creative um, spark in you. A new initiative. You're going to have independent wealth. Nine of Pentacles. Probably. Spirit said probably. Wait and see. And please be patient. So this is something that hasn't happened yet. But it, this person's coming towards you. What? It's going to give you financial independence, stability, prosperity. It's going to be good for you. You're finally going to get out of this mess this person put you through. Confessing, coming clean, turning over a new leaf, conscious kicking in. This person, I told you, they knew about it. They knew that this person was somehow... They knew that somehow this person was messing with you. Denial. That they were in denial. They Because they thought they loved this person. It was their lover. And this person kept lying to them. And so they were in denial about what this person was really doing or confirmation. Or they just chose not to see the whole picture. But then they saw them doing hypocrisy, suspicion. Yeah, someone, so this person had suspicions, but they didn't act on them. Um, because you know how it is when you're in a relationship and you don't have proof that someone's doing something. It's just like a feeling you have. It was kind of like that. Like, how do you, would you go up to him and say, or oh, you're doing this weird thing? No, you, you don't really, you can't really say anything until something comes up for you to say something. Well, this person had a feeling, they had a suspicion, but they didn't want to seem like a hypocrite because they were involved somehow. How were they involved in this? What did they, <laughs> look, tower at the top. Yeah, how were they involved in this? Um, three of Swords in reverse. This was also a painful ending for them. It also gave them a tower. So they're actually... Agree. agree. So they're actually overcoming whatever this is. It, the worst is over, but they're going to want to ask for forgiveness because they were actually involved in the oppression of you in some way. Um, what way were they involved, Spirit? Justice. Look, justice is here. Justice is here. My email is patiencewithspirit at gmail. <clears throat> they want to come in and um, balance the scales. They want to... They got integrity. They're going to be truthful. They were under some kind of binding agreement with this person that protein, protein. they're getting something from choke. them choke love yeah they just I think they just were blinded by love they thought that they loved them um, but once they saw what they were doing on their computer against you um, they realized that this person's sick so I don't know exactly what they were doing but it was not something good what was this person doing on the computer against Collective? What was this person doing against the Collective on the computer? What did they catch this person doing? Magic! The magician! 
caught him doing magic in the boobity pops and they were like what the hell are you doing they were like i don't know it's not what you think it is and then they were like oh my god you're a sick individual <laughs> Because they were trying to cause poverty, intuition, they were divination spying on you. Maybe they caught him at an altar, or maybe they caught him looking up some kind of weird spell to put on you or something. Something like that. Oh, jeez. I'm so happy that someone's coming towards you that finally makes sense in all of this BS. Okay? They're leaving this person. This person's coming towards you. I don't know when. But they're going through a tower as well, so they might want to finish going through their tower before they come towards you because you don't want to be all caught up in their tower. So you just got to hang on a little bit longer. It's going to be okay. Someone's going to come and help you. Spirit said, wait and see. Please be patient. Okay? I love you so much, Collective. See you next one. My object.